Okay. Good day, everybody, again. So, social media's impact on criminals and criminality in Jamaica has been very effective. Very effective because the mainstream used to be, you know, you have to wait on a certain time for you to get the special news. Now it's very Im impactful. It's quick. It's more widespread, different social media platforms, you know. Criminals look at these as oh, sending the message quickly and uh, it reaches everybody's phone. Even the mainstream is start to pick up on that and start to have their own apps. You know, try to keep up with it. It's just a way of sending the message quickly, faster. And you have a lot of videos you can post of the actual crime before you had to wait on this long. And then by the time it watered down, honestly criminals really look into this deep and they really see that okay if we can shoot a video send a message or don't put any f faces in it just show the gun show the this show the that it's a quicker way of sending the message and just terrorize communities all around the world all around their communities all around everywhere you know criminals is picking up on this it affects jamaica most of all you know Social media wasn't around when we have the other crimes. And ever since social media come, it's like it skyrocketed even further because gangs start to prove against gangs, show what kind of machine they have, how they're doing. And now scamming get involved and then the money start coming more. So it really impacts impact Jamaica a lot. Social media is not a good look, you know, and I don't see well, social media is very dangerous where crime and violence is concerned in today's world. Social media is used to make a lot of trouble. It brings influence on others to wage war. The only way social media is used, in my opinion, in a platform, in a positive way, only when a person is missing and it is posted. Sometimes people are deceived by social media where lives are being told lies are being told we need honest people who will use social media to do the right thing in our country i mean it really you know create a negative impact because most of them youth use that same platform to highlight them criminal activity to highlight you know the badness if you highlight the the the, 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 the brawling killing and when they post them things upon social media it sends shockwave through any community especially if you're a part of that community because when you check the meds and look on it and realize oh, that a smart way you know and how him so brawling for put up for the world to see what him do and now hide him face you know so at the same time you have a negative aspect and a positive aspect of it. Because the positive side of me draw from it. Them so don't that them not understand say when them use them platform yeah, for I like them brawling, killing and them robbery and going with them things. Them not understand how easy it is. they make it for the law enforcement. For track them. You know? So let me say social media really give them the space. To highlight themselves as top gunman or top corner boy. So, you know, I just saw it go still. But we're going to do about it. We have, to, we have to use it the positive way to try to find them. And either walk them out, chalk them out. You see me? Okay, so um, this is my opinion. Social media. I would say um, 60% positive, 40% negative. I think we have more positive on social media now. It does play a part in crime, but not a big part. And that's just my opinion. Right now, social media make it evil. Probably I get worse right now because the same nigga will do the killing up of shooters, you know, Jimmy. You know, say the man actually have an intention to video it because what him did, done plan to him, have put it on social media, 
for the world to see him. See what go on, you see me? So yeah, it's a work and the none right now, the, the two with the two packs on them right now, you see me? So it kill them in the street. It's like them and Morphe start do do crime and video it. Put it up on the internet. Yes, it's an influence everything we are going right now. Well, with regards to um the impact of social media and you know, with regards to the crime, the impact it has and how it influences the crime in Jamaica. What I would look at it as being yes it has its goods the social media however when it comes to criminality that's when um the negative um presents itself it is really frightening sometimes just how brazen some of these people can be you know by um displaying their acts you know displaying you know showing their tall of tall of so to speak I don't know what they expect to get from it. I don't know if they expect to get a lot of views or, you know, comments or likes. I don't know. I, I Sometimes I try to understand what is their process. You know, what are they thinking when they do these things? Um, it has not been good for Jamaica because I think it emboldened these criminals, um, these criminal elements. And... Um, it's unfortunate that Jamaica is suffering from it because um, since the influx of, you know, the social media um, applications, um, you see where, you know, things really get out of hand. Yes, crime was always in Jamaica, but it wasn't at the forefront and now it has gone to a different level. I guess it's because of the generation coming up now and, you know, they are mostly into technology. So that's why, you know, it's been portrayed and put there, brought, you know, brought forth on, the, on these platforms for all to see um, their actions. So in my view, it has been negatively impacted um, Jamaica and, um, the, you know, crime and violence has risen a lot. You know, it's sad to see um, how many people are lost their lives and you know again we have to just come up with some solutions in order to help you know stem this um you know to help stem what is going on there so that's just my take on the whole uh, matter bless up general yeah my take on this issue well, it's a vast thing because um we are in a culture now where it's sensationalism, right? So, when a man do one thing, for example, sensationalism and copycat culture, everybody want to outdo each other. So, say for instance, a man posts a video foolishly because I just because of narcissism and them sociopathic tendencies a man puts a, a photo with a pose with a gun or something like that right or the pose a scene with a crime something happened an next man see that on yo and i say yo i have to kick up the badness because i he want to outdo each uh, next man, right? And we see where the culture rise up from a certain artist. Where I say I fully don't sit in there. So these youth now use the thinking. Them say them don't and them even add to it. They say them fully don't and them proud of it. When I was at Juvie going to school, no man, you know what a man call you don't spread up because you feel shame. But no, this generation gladly glorify that and preach that and then live up to that. The little mobile devices that we have, most of them have a camera. 
you have apps where you can record movies and you can record yourself doing certain stuff so yes they use it to glorify what they are doing no one is afraid or ashamed anymore so that's why I'll see talk of a cyber crime department and the government have been putting out literature where I said why even because all these things started you know so I have to ramble on so um, it was first men having sexual exploit with ladies and they might leak the photos on, on, on social media. And there was even a case between two university university of the West Indies students. They, they, they break up and the man could leak the photos and he was charged in court and found guilty and had to had to pay some money. So yeah man, the, the sensationalism and the hype coupled with the fully done attitude and behavior has vastly increased and and um let's say added to the crime and it badly influenced our our capability of dealing with crime because even the other day with um eight seventy six August on website yeah the man was sent by note from prison in a, in, a, in a WhatsApp group and I informed on the money self which was a good thing for the society at any rate because the, the police have the information of them incriminating them oneself so yeah man social media have definitely the hype of this thing and make people want to outdo each other so it, it, it add to the graphic nature of killings that we have in our country yeah that is my three cents. Bless. Big topic this my views. Big up, big up, big up everybody this morning. Big topic. Cause this topic have many tentacles in it. That's why in the criminal justice world, you have the study now named cyber psychology, which tell you about the influence of social media and internet space and um the mind. One of the greatest influence of social media and and people where where catalyze criminal behavior is the exposure to violence. So at the click of a finger, people can be exposed to anything, whether it be sex, but violence in that sense. And that lead to two things. That can lead to desensitization of how a person feel about violent act. So him not really have that sort of empathy so him can cut off a man's head because he see it somewhere. Because what social media does really is that it draw like people together. So you will have fat groups, people will wear certain jeans, people where social media attract like groups. So yeah so so within the internet space you have the deep web and the dark web which believe it or not a lot of criminals in Jamaica um use and these using the tour website these these um web you know these websites offer anything you can get anything on it from gun to prostitutes to human trafficking and you can meet people on it that are involved in those things anything criminal you can find on the dark web but separate and apart from the dark web social media expose people to violence and people mimic that violence that is one of the way I believe social media influence people. It also gives them a platform for farm um um what you call larger bodies and a means of communication to promote themselves. So as we see in Jamaica, whole heap of criminals is on Instagram and this show you the narcissistic side of criminality because a man I do a crime on a comp on social media and a brag and a beat him chest, you would have think say. So. Them either say would have hide themselves from the police. No, but them want people to know. So social media give them a platform to promote what they in themselves think that them doing is good. Right? So it depends. It's not the social media is a problem, you know, it's the use of the social media. So social media in itself is social media because it was designed for a particular purpose. But it's the misuse of it that is that caused the problem. Right? So it's 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 social media I think have had 
a significant impact on crime in Jamaica through various ways, through exposure to violence, through the desensitization of youth, and to, and to um, farming like groups for criminality. So that's my three points then. Big up yourself.